Are you familiar with Intenta Compo? Intenta Compo. Do you know what that is, DJ? Ringside. I feel like you're trying to say. Don't look something. at the notes. Don't look <laughs> no. at the notes. Don't look at the notes. I'm pronouncing it correctly. I looked it up and listened. Is it multiple. Say it again. Intenta Compo. He's not. No, it sounds like a weird coconut. It's like, I don't know. It's like Worcestershire sauce. You got to say it fast. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. It's a compo. You probably got it right. Worcestershire. I see it. I did it. Yeah. Attentic, attentic compo. Attentic compo. Yeah. Yeah. I see know. there, I did it. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a religion. It's got to be a religion. No. Close. So <laughs> close. Intenta Compo is uh, is uh, Giannis Intenta Compo is the basketball player, the giant guy on. on oh, is he the, the dude with the finger? The, no, dude. No. <laughs> That's the Kembe Matumbo. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. like, I feel like you're talking about a guy. I know. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. So <laughs> I know the guy. No, dude. Yeah, exactly. I love that guy. Um, <laughs> Giannis might as well start doing that. So Giannis is like the most famous, but uh, well. I just found out he is one of five brothers, and three of them are in the NBA. Yeah, <laughs> three of the five brothers are in the NBA, and one of them is on his team. So this is crazy, okay? So I I, I was watching NBA All Star stuff this weekend, and uh, in the skills challenge, they had three teams. They had the Cavs team, which was made up of three Cavs players. They had a rookie team, which was three rookies, and then they had the uh, Intent to Combo brothers. And I was like, wait, what? Like. What are you talking about? And all three of them came out and they all played in the skills challenge together. And they're all NBA players. So the five of them, Francis is the oldest. Francis. Francis. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Francis doesn't play basketball. He plays soccer. So he kind of like flaked out. But when you see the picture of the five of them, he's in the middle and he's like probably a foot shorter than everybody else. Apparently he's a professional soccer player though in Europe. Plays the old footy. The old footy. So... <clears throat> And he's a music producer, but everybody oh. is at this point. Straight Sorry. bangers. Straight bangers. <laughs> and then you have Tenasis Attentacumbo, who is the second oldest. And he came into the league. He's a twenty nine he's twenty nine years old, six six, two hundred and nineteen pound small forward. It's a big boy. Okay. So he started playing um in like European leagues and then eventually joined Giannis in Milwaukee in 2019, okay, and ended up winning the championship with them. So you had two brothers on the same team win a championship, was which was cool. How would you like that if you you and your brother played a professional sport and oh that'd be awesome, so, yeah, wouldn't that that'd be great? That'd be really really cool. I mean, it, it, like the camaraderie, the chemistry. You're on the court, you're seeing them, you're celebrating yeah. with them. It's like a family and, experience. And like in your mind, like montages back to like the the driveway, yeah. like. You know, you're practicing for this your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> well, not to diverge too much from the Tentacumpo brothers, but uh, everybody's talking about LeBron, and his son is going to college apparently in the fall. Yeah. He's got to play one year of college ball, and then he can be drafted. He's eligible for the draft. Yeah. And LeBron is saying, wherever he ends up, I'm going to play with my son. And I, was, I think that's going to be the first time that's ever happened in NBA history. Yeah, I know it's happened in baseball. Yeah, oh, wow. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think NBA because no one has has had a a career like LeBron's. Like, yeah, he's nearing forty. You know, he's he's what 37, 36? Yep. So you know, two years that he's going to be yeah. thirty eight, thirty nine. I don't think a lot of bas- basketball players play that long. Yeah, I mean, he'd probably come in as like a mentor figure, but still, it'd be cool to see him on the court together. But apparently, yeah. Bronny is really good. And yeah, like he's got he's smaller, but he's still got the skills. He's probably more of a Steph. Curry what if type. he's just not good enough? And like, <laughs> no, I think he's they, actually really. Anyone like, think about that? <laughs> I think LeBron did when he was born. It was saying, no, he's gonna. Here's be a good. basketball. <laughs> yeah, the full size one, <laughs> just I, on the baby. <laughs> real okay, real quick. I know we're we're kind of already off the topic, but would you take LeBron back? In so, under what situation? So that is the point that everybody's saying is that Bronny. Unfortunately, no. Fortunately, this Cavs team is starting to do well. So, oh, I love it. They're not. Yeah, they're not going to the team I've always wanted. They're not going to fumble into another draft and get Bronny. But yeah. say somehow it worked out and he ended up here, LeBron would come back to play with his son, and like they would, I think, ruin this team. So that's the thing. He has to come back in my mind, and. And maybe this first thing is going to be the most jarring. He has to come back for like veteran minimum, 
and then he has to agree to join in the structure that's already there yeah. like there's no okay we need this guy we need this guy to come here no it's like you have to join what's already made here you're yeah. another piece of the puzzle like i agree with you but that's not going to happen yeah but that what like do you think I'll just say you can't you can't just step back into a new system. I mean, I don't you know I mean I don't know basketball when sports. It's like you have a guy who is literally controlling entire teams. Yeah, and it's like, but or does he just set it aside because it's just for the legacy of saying I did a year with my son? You know, is it a throwaway? But can he do that? I don't think. But then there's that. also retiring at your home team that yeah. you started with and all that. And you won a championship, but even then. In basketball, I think Can't it's liquid it. enough. I think it's liquid enough. He could yeah. come back for the last couple of weeks of the season. And True. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, something we like retired that. his jersey. Like, did, that, that'd be he, cool. Didn't Laskowskis do that? Where he yeah, came back like for like yeah, he, just, he did like one game back yeah, there, two yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. So they do that for the fan service. But yeah. Bronny, I think, is going to be good. So here's the thing. I think if we did get Bronny James onto the Cavs, that could be interesting. I want Bronny, but I don't want LeBron. Yeah. That's what I think. Because he'd be young. He's got history. He's been around here. He knows the vibe. He's a young guy on a young team. That could be a cool situation. Yeah. But that's a year. That's like a year away. So a lot can happen. If the if, if the Cavs go into the playoffs and win deep, it's going to be a whole new landscape come, a whole come this new fall. World. Yeah, exactly. Tell me more about the Attenticompo brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so the Attenticompo brothers. Uh, so Giannis, Giannis is... Uh, sorry. That's the, thir- the third brother. Right? Yeah, just to wrap it up with with Tenasis, he played Greek basketball for a long time because this, this whole family is Greek. <laughs> is he the Greek freak? That makes sense. No, no, that's Giannis. Is is he is that he, that makes him the Greek freak? Yeah, Giannis. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis is, and let me just make sure I get this right because I think they're a Nigerian. Attentive compo. Attentive compo. So they they are. Um, I wanted to make sure this was right. Oh, okay. I'm getting through it. These are all these are fun facts. Giannis. Let's just talk about Giannis really quick. Yes. 27 right now, 6'11. He's the tallest of the brothers. 235 pounds, sometimes Ooh, 245. Nah, he's, he's a beast. He's, he's, he's the Greek freak. Yeah. Power forward. So he went number 15 in the 2013 draft. I didn't know he was in the league this long. I thought he came up like later. Recent. Yeah, yeah recently. But no, he is he is um he has been in a, been in a while. Yeah, like exactly. Like that's he surfaced more. I probably like 2017, maybe 2018, when the Bucks got hot. Yeah, yeah. So he was with the Mil- Milwaukee Bucks since 2013. Two MVPs, one championship in 2021. That's the one that uh, ten, uh, Tenacious was there. Now. Did you want Chris Paul to win a championship last no. year? No, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm over Chris Paul. Okay, I think okay. he's a whiner. He's a baby. Okay, you I guess someone's something. not getting Possibly turns from Cliff, Cliff Paul. <laughs> I guess I guess not. So, this is another funny thing, really quick. I'm gonna try to keep moving through this because I know we're cooking. But, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Here we go. No, what, what, they what were about? the second pair of brothers on the Bucks in that run. That's crazy. Brooke and Robin Lopez were also on the team when they won that championship. I didn't know they were. Had, <laughs> I, I didn't know, know the Lopez. Were, had yeah. <laughs> all right, so so we all we people are more familiar with Giannis. He's bigger both in fame and in play skill. He's kind of the most well known, probably the biggest paid. But then you got Costas, uh, Costas at uh, Um <laughs> He's twenty four, so he's younger. He's three years younger. Twenty four, six ten, two hundred pound, small forward, drafted like dead freaking last in 2018 in the NBA draft hmm. went to Dallas for like two weeks and was released. But then he signed with the Lakers the year after and won a championship with them when LeBron won in lockdown. That's brilliant. I think it was locked up. Maybe it was the yeah, yeah, 2020, I think, I think. Yeah. The bubble season. Yeah. So, so cost us. He won before the other two guys, but this is where the record is set. They're the first trio of brothers to all win a championship that is awesome so three brothers each one with a championship ring that's the first time it's happened in nba history congrats to the attendant <laughs> Congratulations. what about uh to what the about their first brother uh frank what about francis did Fuentes? he win any any uh maybe grammy championships no <laughs> so 
he played, and I wanted to point this out. Costas played in Dayton, which is like oh, oh, uh, just a short throw, stones throw, throw yeah, <laughs> <laughs> throw stones from here. Anyway, uh, he played in Dayton for college, and that's where he got his legs under him. In the hey, look at that U.S. U- market UD. So, finally, rounding it all out, we have Al- Alex Attentacombo, <laughs> and he's twenty six eight, two hundred plus pounds, small forward. He went undrafted last year, and he's currently playing in the G League. He's Jury's kind of out on Alex, but I think Alex is going to bring it up. I've heard rumors that he's like pretty solid. Like he might be the second attentive brother, yeah. And like, be as far as like skill level goes. That's the thing. Like being the younger brother, I feel like you have, you can see what your older brothers do. Yeah. So then that drives you more to be like, I want to be better than that son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Especially like, if you're at the bottom of yeah. The- like if yeah, they're always picking on you or beating you up or something. And yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like that drives you more to be better than them. And so like I would feel that Alex would be. And is his name really Alex? If they're from, it's probably Alexis. Yeah. Alexandria or something. <laughs> Alexi. Alexie. 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 Um, uh, <laughs> Alexandros. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine you know it kind of sucks he didn't get drafted, but you know you got to think NBA has to be one of the worst drafts oh yeah um maybe top five might play in the nba everything else probably garbage reading about this it's amazing how liquid that league is yeah. you can be playing over somewhere in europe somebody is like we need a big man up front and that's how timothy mozgov got here yeah unfortunately that- <laughs> <laughs> i've had to ship right back out. no but he uh yeah no the, the, the league you can come from anywhere so just because you don't get drafted, a lot of guys will play two, three years in other leagues, get their skills up, and yeah. kind of get called up. Especially now with the G League, they're really trying to make that happen. Yeah. So that's what I learned. I just want to pivot to one more thing. Other pairs of famous famous athlete brothers. Oh. So I, got, I know you guys have looked at my list. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to. We all know the Mannings. Yeah. <laughs> what are their names? They're men. What are their names again? I just know them as the Mannings. Peyton and Pepsi, Eli. Peyton jo- Eli, Joseph and Jorgensen. <laughs> <laughs> Jorgensen, uh, Kelsey's. I didn't know this, but Travis Kelsey has a brother. Kelsey, 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 <laughs> Kelsey Grammar, Kelsey, <laughs> uh, Jason Kelsey. So those guys okay. are from our, our our neck of the woods, Cleveland yeah. Heights, and they both have a Super Bowl. What? Because Jason Kelsey was on the Super Bowl winning Eagles as the center. Mm. Oh, Nick Foles. Nick Foles. So he won. And then Travis Kelsey won a couple. Weren't of you days. in Philly for that? I was in Philadelphia for that Super Bowl. Nice. It was wild. You text, I think you texted me. Like, yeah, this is crazy. I have this insane <laughs> picture of, of the huge crowd afterward, and just one person holding up a Foles jersey. It's one of the best <laughs> pictures I've ever taken. It's amazing. But we were out in the middle of the street. Nobody was there, and then all of a sudden, it was just like a crush. Everyone like, was, it was there. massive. The car started going. We we're like, time to go back. Um, the Bosa's, Nick and Joey Bosa, the Watts brothers, JJ and TJ. JJ obviously dominant for so long. I wonder how much older than he is than TJ because TJ's only been in a couple of years, but he's like at peak performance. Yeah. And JJ is like kind of out on his way out. He got like another brother named like PJ and <laughs> AJ. CJ. <and> Peanut butter. <laughs> Running out of J's. Uh, DJ. ZJ. I'm actually that, part of that family. Yeah. BJ. I read your last name is Watt. <laughs> DJ Watt. Uh, let's see, twenty-seven and thirty-two. So JJ's thirty-two, TJ's twenty-seven. Wow. Okay. And and DJ Ringside is <laughs> DJ Ringside. <laughs> I want to throw that out. DJ Ringside. You got the Sedins. Is that how you say? Oh, it? the Sedins. The Sedins. Sardines. Yeah. The Sardines. <laughs> Henrik and Daniel Sedin, two like dominant players in the NHL. They're They're currently twins. or They're twin twins. brothers. Yeah. Oh, played for the Vancouver Canucks. Like. Together? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, they're, 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 they're together like, at the same time? Yeah. They actually just shared a pair of skates. They're they conjoined all... twins? <laughs> they're like three like three skates. Like <laughs> It's one person, more. two heads. Wait, wasn't there that movie <laughs> Stuck on You? Yeah. But, That's but about the Sedins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were fry cooks, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the weekends. And then one more I wanted to point out. Yeah, the, yeah. the Griffins. Shaquille I'll and Shaquem. <laughs> Shaquille, Shaquille and Shaquem. Have you ever heard about these guys? No. So they played for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think Shaquem plays for the Chargers right now. So the current. The crazy thing about them is the they're close brothers. They played football all these years. They got to play together in Seattle. 
Seattle Supersonics? No, the the Seahawks. <laughs> so the crazy thing is, Shaquem is missing his left hand. Oh dang! Oh, oh I've is seen that him play. recently. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. He's, he's still in the league. He's like I said, he's playing for he's got a couple uh, carries. Uh, yeah, UCF football. Where is that's it? The, like people that are born or come into like a detriment like that. Like that's so unfortunate. But you truly see drive and determination of a person's soul and being when they are confronted with problems like that. Like, yeah, he was like, hey, I'm missing a hand. I'm still going to be a fucking badass. Yeah. And and do my best and prove everyone wrong. So he, he's in Miami right now. So that's cool. He's still playing in the league. He was drafted in 2018. Um so when he was born, he had this thing called amniotic band syndrome, which I guess like cuts off like a, a kind of circulation in a part of your body, um, and uh, w- at birth. And then when he was like four years old, he tried to cut his hand off because of so much pain in the tendons in, in his hand. And that's when his family was like, "Oh, this is super tough because he's not old enough to really know what's going on, but we got to amputate it." And so they went to the doctor and, and amputated it. Put a little novocaine on it. <laughs> yeah. But isn't that nuts? Like he he oh, literally man. was gonna cut his own. So he's a out. badass. Like yeah. 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 Um. But anyway, those like are some famous medieval brothers. movie about yeah. that. Okay. So I think that's cool. And like you said, to sum it all up, I think it'd be badass to play with your brother. Yeah. It, play with your brother or like a high school friend. That would be amazing at, at the peak of the game. That'd be yeah. awesome. 